It's week five of the National Football League, and we'll see Brock Purdy. He's coming off a nice week throwing the ball. Four touchdown throws. It's the 49ers and the Cowboys on Sunday night. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. A straight ahead, it's a rematch from last year's NFC Divisional Round matchup as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the San Francisco. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Strap in, this will be a good one. Two one-loss teams getting together as they're underway on EA Sports. They had tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be let out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. And he's been playing at an elite level here in this early half of the season. Tops in the league in touchdown passes at this point. This is definitely a wide-open offense, and we'll see if he can keep his string of good games going right here. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Purdy. And yeah, that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Purdy now to throw. Hauled in left side here by Jennings. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now on first down, it's Purdy. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Purdy will look to throw again here. Oh, he'll take a shot for McCaffrey downfield. A big play there for the Niners. 55 yards. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brock Purdy. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the 49ers put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And he returns this to the 22. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time. And it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season, leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. Now a second and 10. Looking to throw. Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. CeeDee Lamb is intended target. And it's third down. You look at this Niner defense. It's a unit that has had all sorts of issues against the pass. Dead last in the NFL, number 32 in the league. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because... Now 49er pressure, and they get it. It's blocked. And they are going to have the football right at the 10-yard line. And somebody better wake up pretty quick here. You give up the touchdown on the first drive of the game, then you get the ball and have a punt blocked. I love how you phrased it. There better be a wake-up call in a hurry. Already down. Gave up the punt block. That could make it a bit. And he holds it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Ray Ray McLeod, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Niners take the block punt and convert it into six points. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. Escapes the defender. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. A first down throw for Prescott. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Now a second and six. Now Prescott. Able to hit his target lamb. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 
Prescott on first down. He finds his man, Pollard. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard, 55 yards. And the Cowboys have cut it back within a score. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. A throw over the middle taken in. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there and it's a first down. Purdy. This is Jennings. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Purdy throw complete here to IU. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Here's Purdy. And this is caught inside the five. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Brock Purdy, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the 49ers go up by two touchdowns. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. And I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Play action now, Prescott. That caught by the rookie tight end, Luke Schoonmaker. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Prescott yet again. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. On first and 10, Prescott. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 37-yard line. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. A second down throw for Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Prescott. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Nine-yard line, second and six. Prescott to throw it. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys get a late score here the final minute of the first half. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. The 49ers now are going to use the first.
returns to their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Purdy's throw complete there to McLeod. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. He'll get this into the hands of IU. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Purdy to throw it on first down. He's got Ayuk once again. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. Message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Tosses the out route here to Gallup. First down, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. On first down, Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Here's Purdy on first and 10. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and 10. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Tries to hit Jennings, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. Still going. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Oh, this is blocked. And the Niners have it. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Well, times have definitely changed on the, on the PAT, on the extra point, haven't they? A lot more effort goes into this play from both sides. Yeah, because let's face it, a lot of time on extra points, the effort is not what it is when you're trying to block a field goal. No, no doubt about it. Before, when the ball was snapped on the two-yard line, it was really a virtual chip shot. Now, everyone believes they can get to it and knock it away, and we know how crucial every point is. So the defensive guys, there's been a lot more time trying to get that done, which means there's more pressure on the offensive guys trying to kick it. Purdy's throw complete there to Conley, and he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Shotgun now with Purdy. Able to complete this one to McLeod. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Throwing here, Purdy. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle, and he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 22-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. Purdy looking to throw. Touchdown! George Kittle, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Niners have answered back with a third-quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. Moody good with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. This taken in at the goal line. And now the rookie's free. Pass midfield. 
And he's going to take this all the way down inside the 40. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Prescott. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Prescott now. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Prescott. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Looking to throw. Prescott over the middle complete. That's Ferguson. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. To throw is Prescott. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a pro. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott with his third touchdown of the game, number 15 on the year. And the Cowboys answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he's going to be taken down inside the 10 at about the 8-yard line. Now on first down, it's Purdy. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jennings. Short completion, just 4 yards. And that's going to bring up second down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Now Purdy. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Purdy's throw complete there to the cloud. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 30 before being taken down. Throwing Purdy. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. 80 seconds remain, second and 10. Here's Purdy to throw. He's got the hook up to McLeod. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Drops this underneath. It's Mitchell. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Purdy to throw. 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Second down, goal to go. To throw is Purdy to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out.
Late game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it, and this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Another try, second and ten now. Now Prescott. Into the hands of Cooks. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. That's complete to Lamb. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. Anger is on the punt, and he gets this one away. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game.